All right, I've got um, uh, Alox. I think that's how it's pronounced. Alex, maybe. Um, alcohol burner. I just got it out uh, of the box now. Comes with this stand. Um, I'm guessing it's out of aluminum. Sort of looks like it and feels like it. But um, I'm just gonna light this up and see how it works. Now the, uh, the kit, of course, um, has the, uh, the brass top on it um, with the, um, the rubber seal. Looks like a good seal in there. Um, has the, um, the lid, just like the um, Esbit, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't have an Esbit. This is the first one I ever bought, uh, a little alcohol stove. So. Um, it looks very similar to the Esbit uh, compared to uh, the photos I've seen online. So uh, there you go, there's your three pieces. I'm going to get some uh, methyl uh, hydrate inside and uh, see how that burns. I'm going to boil some water on my uh, XTS Ollie Camp. And um, there's about two cups in it now of water and see how long it takes. Actually, before uh, I light it up, I wanted to do a shake test. So uh, I just put about two ounces inside of here. Um, maybe it's halfway full, I'm not totally sure. I didn't measure it. Um, I'm just going to shake it around and put the lid on fairly good. It's sort of hard with one hand right now. I, think, I believe it's as tight as it can get without over tightening it, but I'm going to see if it leaks. I've heard of a few issues leaking with some people, so. Now, I'm not sure if Esbit makes this or not, or um, if a copy just, or sorry, a company just copied it. I don't see any leaks, but it looks just like the Esbit. Doesn't say Esbit on it. Maybe people can comment and tell me. I don't know if the bottom's the same as the Esbit or not, but um, looks pretty good. I don't see any leaks. Can hear it. Oh, that just leaked on my hand. I can feel it. Yeah, you can see it. So, a little bit of leakage there. That was odd. I don't know if that was from me hitting it against the uh, table, but uh, not good. I guess you'd have to have that in a bag if you're going to hike with it. So, uh, anyways, let me get it lit up and we'll see how it works. Alright, you just got it lit up. I just shut the uh, half the um, of the doors on the shed, just because a bit of a breeze was coming in. Um, just as I was getting it started, and really wanted to blow out. And you can probably see the flame a little better. With it uh, dark in here like that. Well, it's not really dark, but. I did have one issue out of the box, nothing major, but um, the top on this is, uh, slides back and forth. And um, you can see if the camera's going to focus. Not sure. You can see that little clip there. Maybe. It was really tight. Um, I had to actually file it down just to get this thing to open. I'll see what you mean. And I'll show you what I mean. See how it swivels open the uh, tooth on that. Damn camera won't focus. There we go. That tooth there. Just had to be ground with the file a little bit just because it was digging into the brass. Nothing major, but it was really sticking, so. There, you can see it's in place now. So, one little issue, but let's see how the fire's going. Alright, I don't know if that's 
primed or not, is it? It's the first time I've ever used one. Does that look right? I'm not sure. Let's throw on some good heat. So let's get the water on and set some fun. Alright, I just uh, threw the XTS pod on and it fits really well on this thing as well. See by the uh, little legs there. Um, we've got the timer going, we'll see how long this takes. We're just at uh, 29 seconds, 30 seconds. Seems to fit pretty good. The old condensation happening already. I'll mention a few um, numbers here. Just uh, according to the box, um, the metals are stainless steel and copper. But when I ordered it, I thought it said aluminum. And that's definitely a uh, the base is definitely light. Um, I would guess it's aluminum. It's very thin. Um, the whole thing, 130 grams for the burner and the um, little stand. So not too bad. It's very light, very small and compact. I'm sure, well, you can tell it will definitely fit in my uh, Ollie Camp Pot. So, pretty cool. And what are we at for time? 2.30. Yeah, kind of bit. See that flame is uh, really shooting up the middle. Seems to be getting, uh, hitting the base pretty good. This uh, XTS pot um, holds about a liter. I've got two cups of water in it. Um, so it's not the smallest of pots, but it's definitely not big. I'd say it's medium size. Um, definitely a lot uh, other smaller pots out there. But the um, flame is uh, hitting pretty good. Here comes some wind. We're at uh, 420. Definitely see some steam. Sounds like it's starting to boil. At uh, just under five minutes. But, um, pretty good conditions, ideal conditions in here. There's the odd gust of wind. It's pretty windy out right now, but. We're at uh, six minutes, 15 seconds. hear the water starting to rumble. I, I don't know if it's actually boiling yet, but it's ready to. Keep the steam. Yeah, it's boiling, not a rolling boil, but it's seven minutes now. Uh, I didn't use a heat shield like I did in my last video with testing the pot. It seemed to boil, maybe just, there's a rolling boil. I think it was a little quicker if I used a heat shield just to keep that heat in my homemade heat shield I'm very proud of that I made at the dollar store. You can't beat the dollar store. So that's it. Maybe we'll uh, put the lid on. We'll see how the simmer works. All right so the fuel almost gone. There's maybe a millimeter left there from the bottom but let's put this thing on. Oh, I'll sell there. Just trying to sit down. Well, it's doing a good job. Let's see if it brings that water back up to a boil. 
Yep. No. Maybe. Anyways, that's it. The video is long enough. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, uh, well, comment away. Any questions, I'll see if I can answer them. It's a pretty good unit so far. I was looking for something small like this to take with me instead of a fuel tank and, and a burner, so let me snuff it out. That's it. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.